neck facings. Uh, neck facings. There are a numerous ways to do this. This is the way that I do it. I find it the easiest. Um, somebody can watch this and be like, oh, that's not how you do it. That's all wrong. But you know what? If it works for you, who cares? This is the front that we had marked. This is the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. Oh, and the gray is underneath and the tunic is on top opened up like so. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this teal blue line onto the gray. Just that circle. Okay. I've drawn it on there. You can't see it because <laughs> the blue is in the way. So I'm going to pull it off. Now it looks like that. But it should pretty closely match this. Now, a couple of things with this. First of all, we know we want to do a keyhole neckline. We know our keyhole neckline is going to be this far. So um, you will measure this. You will not do it all janky like I'm about to. I'm going to draw a line down here. Um, and then I'm going to draw a line across here that is uh, about half an inch. And the reason why is I will show you here in a little bit. But this is how you would do it. You're going to make like a little line here and a little line across. And another little line. It's, it's, you'll see. All right, so I went ahead and do a little extra just because obviously holding a pen, I'm trying to hold a camera, and all this is just a mess. So this center line is the actual line you're gonna cut. This is where you'll sew, this is where you sew, and you'll sew across like this. But you need all three of these lines to know exactly how you're gonna sew this. Um, the, the next thing is creating this outside edge. So um, this is however many inches you want it out from the neck. So like if I wanted, let's say this is the two inches, I would end up making um, a three and a half inch uh, wide neck facing, half an inch here, my two inches, and then another half inch to roll under or however much you want it, whatever. Anyway, you, math, do math. <laughs> So the next part is, how do I make this neck facing look right? And the key is going to be to draw this sort of um, little thing that comes down across and over like that. And again, you'll use your roller, your ruler, roller, your ruler to kind of figure out exactly how that should look. I'm just going to draw it freehand it um, just to show you the shape. All right, here's my final shape. Now, that being said, you could draw this shape in however you want. You can make this whole thing a square if you wanted, um, which you see a lot. You can make this into like a Thor's hammer looking thing. There's all kinds of, however you want to do this, it doesn't matter, um, honestly. But this is what your ending neck facing drawing will look like. Next, we are going to cut it out. When we cut it out, we are going to cut out the, um, the inside of this and the outside. Dun, dun, dun. We have cut it out. Now, as you notice, I did not cut out the keyhole neck when I did that. If you cut the keyhole out, it's a pain in the butt. So leave it there. So our next um, mission is to match up this with our little neck hole here. And if we did it right, it should match up pretty close. You may have to trim a couple areas just to fix it up. But when you're doing this, you want to make sure your little lines you drew matched up. Ta-da! Now, what we're going to do when we sew this, I'm not going to sew it because it would be a pain in the butt to do with this small of a thing. But when I sew it, I'm going to sew this down. I'm going to start, I'm going to start in the back. I'm going to sew around to here and I'm going to stop when I get to my line here. I'm going to sew down. I'm going to sew across. I'm going to sew up. And then I'm going to sew all the way back to the back. Once I've done that, then, eh, messed it up. Then, and only then, will I cut this line here. So, first, sew that all together, and then you cut this. Once you've cut that, you can now flip this to the other side. And when you flip it to the other side, it'll look like... Not janky like this, but it'll look prettier because it's all sewn, right? Okay, we're gonna get it to here. When you flip it around, it'll look like that on the outside. Yay, it's pretty. Um, one of the things that I like to do again is an iron. 
just to make these seams all nice and flat and everything to be even because then what you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to tuck these in and make like a little hem kind of like we did at the bottom but there's curves and it's a pain in the booty so anyway yeah, you know what I'm talking about I'm sure, I hope <laughs> anyway put this into him blah 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 all the way around uh iron it again then top stitch it uh, or or um you can hand stitch it if you want it to not show a top stitch um or you can do a couching thread on top of your top stitch after you do it and make it look all fancy or hand embroider or whatever um i like to top stitch um to give it uh, more strength and then i do something to hide it like an embroidery or a couching so whatever you please that is how you do a neck facing da -da -da.